Good morning. Today is Thursday, which is day 11 on my 30 day personal improvement challenge. And it's going well. Yesterday I was mentioning that I was really starting to, um, you know, really want to have some cookies or some bread or rolls or whatever. Um, but I didn't, and I'm trying to get back into the mind frame of stop focusing on that. Um, it's only for 30 days and then maybe that can be one of the good treats that I have when I'm done. But um, overall, everything else is going really well. And um, in the beginning, if you've been watching these from the beginning, I showed how to make a really great um, green smoothie and that you can pre-package all the ingredients, including all the greens, and then freeze them into individual little baggies for the freezer. That has been such a lifesaver. It's been phenomenal. So um, if you're interested in that, you can go back um, on my feed and try to see where I posted those videos or I'll see if I can link up to it um, below this one. But um, it's just been a super lifesaver. So if you want a really easy but extremely healthy um, morning breakfast that you're not currently in a good routine of doing, then freezing those little smoothie bags has been like amazing. And then you just toss it all in the blender. I found that you don't even need to add ice because all the frozen ingredients now provide you know everything that the ice would so it would actually be too thick if you added ice so anyway it's been fabulous and so today I'm going to go ahead and show you what's called a bridge which is an exercise specifically designed for the buns and um, a really 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 wonderful and easy way to target that muscle group um, which can sometimes be difficult if you don't have a lot of fancy um, machinery or something that you would find at a gym then it's really easy to do it on your own and I'm going to show you a few variations that you can do too so this is all in all going to end up encompassing the glutes and the um, thighs and hamstrings. So let me make sure that you'll be able to see me okay. Okay. So in order to do it, you want to have equal space between your hips and thighs and ultimately you're going to be raising up through the buns. When you do this, really make sure that you're raising up by squeezing your buns and lifting, not by arching your back and creating the back muscles that are actually doing the lifting, that would be incorrect. So it looks similar and it seems simple, but it can be very easily done wrong. So be careful of that. Squeeze up through your buns and I like to raise up my toes and therefore I'm pushing up through my heels and that really helps to activate the right muscles as well. So a way that you can make this a little more challenging one of them is I've got, this is like 10 pounds, so I've got this 10 pound weight that I can drape across my hips and then that way I've got additional weight that I'm pushing up with. So there's that. Another way that you could do it is you're here and then you start to extend one leg. This is really then going to focus everything on this thigh and hip here. So that's an option there is keeping that one leg extended as you go. Really, you're gonna feel it a lot more intensely on the other side. It feels really, really great, actually. And then the other way to add a little bit more work for your hamstrings, which is the muscles on the back of your thighs, is you can put your feet onto something. I've got my foam roller here. You can put your feet onto something that's a little bit more unstable. So then, as I'm raising up, my hamstrings have to work so much more to keep this in place as I'm going up and down. So this is really going to get you the most bang for your buck. And if, of course, I combined everything, put heavier weight here, and then I'm also utilizing this, I could probably make it more challenging by keeping my hips elevated. And now I'm doing basically hamstring curls. So that's really getting the back of the legs there to tone those muscles but you're staying elevated, so you've still got everything going on in the glutes at the same time. So, bridges can start off being really simple, but very, very quickly, you can make it become much more challenging, target all those fabulous muscle groups of the hips and the thighs without ever leaving home or needing a gym. So, go enjoy that, have a wonderful day. If you are working towards some goals of your own and you want additional encouragement and spurring along the way and um, 
just really kind of giving you a jump start and making you feel really excited um, towards reaching your goals, then come on join the community at Worthy to Be Me. And it's just a place that we're all just kind of sharing the things that we're doing to improve ourselves and different goals that we have and just a wonderful place to encourage one another and not feel like you're bragging because we're all there to be excited for one another um, as we move forward making positive changes for our lives. So come join me over there. Have a wonderful day.